In this video I'll be showing you how we decrease with double crochet and a lot of times you'll need to do this for a hat pattern or any type of clothing pattern where you're trying to make a certain section smaller. To show you I have already done one row of double crochet and essentially what we're trying to do is to make this smaller. So we're going to try to make these two stitches into one stitch for our next row. So we're going to yarn over insert the hook and pull up the working yarn then I'm going to yarn over again and only pull through two loops so don't finish this double crochet but instead we're going to yarn over again and we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch we're going to pull through and up and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops now we have three loops left in our hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all three yarn over insert our hook into the next stitch pull it through and up yarn over only pull through two leave two yarn over go into the next stitch grab the working yarn pull through two we've got three in our hook and we're going to pull through all three i'm going to repeat this process a few more times here So you can see right here how it's bunching up because we're decreasing the size of it so it's getting tighter here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this row up. I did have an odd number here in my amount of double crochets. Your pattern usually wouldn't have an odd number or if it did have an odd number it would just tell you to do one regular double crochet. So I'm going to continue to decrease here. And a lot of times in your patterns it might say crochet together and then it might tell you to do three regular double crochets and then crochet one together. So anytime you're decreasing it is crocheting two together so it really is that easy to decrease and crochet let me know in the comments if there's any other crochet terms that you'd like a further understanding of thanks for watching and have a great day